Hi everyone, Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com, giving you a quick update on what has been added to Disney Plus today. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Well, Happy New Year's Day, everyone. It is the 1st of January, and that means we have got tons of new content on Disney Plus. There was loads of movies, we had some National Geographic shows, we had some Disney Channel shows, and yep, so let's just go through the list, and there's quite a bit of it. There's a few things that definitely stand out, especially one that I wasn't quite expecting today and wasn't previously announced, which was the Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. This one is now available in the US. It had been added a couple of days ago or a few weeks ago as well in other regions such as the Netherlands and Australia, but it's now gone everywhere. And also, before we get into the US and sort of the Canada releases, there was a couple of other new additions that I want to bring out right now first. Um, in Australia, they even got Fantastic Four, the most recent version. They also got all of the Ice Age movies in addition to the Fantastic Four movies. Also over in Canada, they got the Ice Age movies as well as the Fantastic Four movies. They also got Doctor Doolittle 2. So quite a few bits and pieces internationally. Now what that does mean for me is I think once we start seeing them being added internationally, it's generally just countdown clock until they get added onto the US one. It's all just down to streaming services rights and that is the big problem going forward. But nevertheless, let's jump in and show what has been added today. Okay, so now let's have a look here at the list. Now, the big one was four seasons of Austin and Alley. That was a Disney Channel show. A lot of people requesting that one there. We also had Billy Dilly's Super Duper Subterranean Summer Season 1. We had a number of um, cartoons, um, shorts that were added. I'm not going to go through them all individually, but there's quite a few different ones added. We had Cool Runnings. We had Dr. K's Exotic Animal ER Season 8. We had Dr. Oakley Yukon Vet Season 7. Dr. T Lone Star Vet Season 1, a brand new series. We also had a number of Drain the Ocean um, specials and also um, series as well, including the second season. Quite a few different ones there that I did like the look of, including one about Titanic and also the Bermuda Triangle. We also had First Class Chefs Season 1. This was a short series in the UK that's now been added on to Disney+. Plus. It's been around for a few years. Um, yeah, so if you like cooking, definitely want to check that one out. Then we had Hacksaw. Now, I had never heard of this one, and it did, did seem like nobody else in the community had heard of this one as well. So this one, a girl goes on vacation to the mountains, where she finds a wild horse named Hacksaw. With a little help, she captures the stud, and it doesn't take too long until the man who helped her starts wagon racing, since Hacksaw refuses to have any man or woman on his back. We also have um, Holes. We also have a couple of Marvel shows. We have Marvel Rising Secret Warrior Battle of the Bands. Marvel, 75 years from pop to pulp. Don't know why they've put this one on here. It's already five years out of date, but nevertheless, it's always good to have something Marvel related on there. We also had leaving Netflix today. We had One Strange Rock. This um, is the first season is now available. This one is pretty cool. Um, it has been available in the Netherlands since the trial. I've watched a couple of episodes. I've been waiting for it to, so I can watch it fully. And yeah, this one should be a really good one and definitely one of the big kind of documentary series on National Geographic that you want to be checking out. Another series from National Geographic that I'm personally very interested in is called Out Here with Jack Randall, the first season of this one. So he was trained by um, Steve Irwin at the Australia Zoo. Um, I used to love that show when it was on um, Animal Planet. I even went out to Australia Zoo when I was touring around out there. And this is just straight up the, um, the kind of thing that I want to watch. And I think this one could be really fun. So I'm looking forward to watching that one this month. We also have a new movie called Red Tails. Now, this one was released a few years ago, made by George Lucas's Lucasfilm and also with 20th Century Fox. Um, it's all about the first African-American pilots trying to fly in a combat squadron during World War II. Never heard of it before, but nice to see that one been added. Sawyer Luna Season 1. This one seems to have been kind of on and off of Disney Plus in terms of seeing the icon, but you never saw the episodes added. Well, that one now has been added. We also got um, a great new short um, called Super Rhino, which is the um, sort of the hamster from Bolt. So if you like Bolt, you're going to want to check that one out. The Lodge Season 1. I'd never heard of this one. Again, um, kind of Disney Channel show where 15-year-old Sky moves with her family to the big city in rural Northern Ireland where they take over a local family-owned hotel called Northern Star. Another big one that everyone has been asking for since Disney Plus launched, Seasons 1 and 2 of The Proud Family. Um, I've never seen this one, but they are making some brand new episodes exclusively for Disney+. Plus. So if you're like me and you've never seen it, you might want to check it out. But also, if you used to love the series, you might want to be watching this one as well. 
We've also got Marvel's The Superhero Squad Show, which is seasons one and two. So this one features all, obviously, all the big um, superheroes from Avengers. We've also got Silver Surfer, the Fantastic Four, things like that. So if you're a Marvel fan and want something maybe um, for the kids, this one's definitely going to be one for you um, to check out. And then we have National Geographic's Year Million, where we kind of go into the future and it's kind of showing us all what's going on. Again, haven't seen this season myself. But there's quite a few different bits and pieces here on Disney Plus this month, which I think is definitely cool for us all to be watching. Bit of everything, we've got some National Geographic shows for um, the adults, we've also got some things from the, um, the Disney Channel. Yesterday I did do a video about what's going to be coming up in mid-January, and one of those things that I was waiting to see about today was whether or not all those library content that were going to be added in mid-January had been pushed back from today because originally they were announced. Um, that has happened. Um, I personally think that's not a bad idea. There was so much stuff added today, another you know, five, 10 seasons of different shows would have just got lost in the shuffle. So maybe spread them out into doing two drops a month rather than one drop a month, or even doing weekly, I think might be a good thing. So I'm glad that they did actually take a few of those items out and push them back a couple of weeks because there's so much to watch um, on Disney Plus with all of this content. So there we go, that is everything that has been added today. There was loads of it. Um, I always love seeing what we're gonna be getting on the first of each month. Hopefully it won't be a few more weeks now until we find out what's gonna be dropping in February. But today we did also get a great video um, that Disney put out. You'll find it on this channel as well. Kind of a teaser trailer of what's gonna be coming up in 2020. A few new things got announced there, including um, a documentary on elephants. And we also kind of got to see some of the very first footage of some of the new upcoming Disney Plus originals such as uh, Stargirl and also Timmy Ferrier and also the great announcement that uh, WandaVision has been pulled forward from 2021 until 2020. Now that still necessarily could be late December, December 2020, but I think this is a really good move from Disney. I think they needed to get a few more big hitters into this year. Pulling that one forward from spring 2021 may also help bring other shows, maybe, um, for example, Miss Marvel, which they're set to start filming later this year, maybe pull them in a bit further, closer. They are filming the uh, WandaVision series um, over the past few weeks and probably going forward. I think this is a great thing for Disney Plus to have Mandalorian season two and those two Marvel series this year is a big thing. But that's all far away. You've got all of this new content to go in and enjoy just ahead of some more drops coming up later this week because we have got um, Life Below Zero coming again. We've got a new season of that coming um, tomorrow. But nevertheless, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Later. Mm -hmm.